All right, all right, all right. Everybody out here, you want to come back in here? Um, little special guest, and I'm very, very excited about introducing this fella here. I uh, met him when he was 14 years old, and um, I told him if he works really, 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 really hard, that I think that he can make it in Hollywood. Now that's a really, really big statement because that's that's tough, okay? And if you guys want to come in, just come in. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, there you go. And um, you know what? Dreams do come true because uh, a few years later, he's uh, like one of the biggest teen idols in the whole wide world. It was from Paris to Germany to Italy to, to Las Vegas, right here at the studio. So um, I'm going to ask uh, ask him to come up and, and say a few words. And uh, you know, it's a it's, it's really nice thing that he did is he's on his vacation. And I'll tell you something else a little later, okay? All right, let it, give it up for Mr. James Maslow! Woo! How you guys doing? I heard some pretty good voices when I was waiting back there. Pretty, pretty amazing talent out here. Thank you guys for having me. Uh, Billy just asked me to stop in and say hello, and I think that's amazing. All of you that are out here and are singing and are doing your best to educate yourselves in this business and keep pursuing the dream. You know, I, uh, I grew up in San Diego and actually met Billy at a convention just like this. I was performing with a voice coach of mine, and he, uh, he turned to me after that and was like, you sounded okay, clear up your skin. <laughs> I had acne, I was 14 years old, everybody does. But about a year later, I'd gone, you know, I'd gone clear of the skin a little bit, and uh, I saw him again, performed again at something like this, and he turned to me and said, keep training every single day, just keep working, and try and get better and better and better, and have that goal, and don't forget about it. He told me one thing that I still live by today, and that's that success comes when preparation meets opportunity. And yeah, if, you, if you know Billy Doll, you've probably heard that by now. But really what that means to me is that every day, go out there and keep training. I want to get better and because I love it so much, training doesn't feel like work to me. So when I'm singing or I'm playing piano, it's a lot of fun. And then guess what? When I got a job, like Big Time Rush, it, it really it isn't work. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's long hours, don't get me wrong, but it's amazing. So. Uh, you guys keep doing it. If I, if I didn't have people like Billy, like my dad, like my friends encouraging me to keep going, to you know keep training and keep pursuing my dream, I probably wouldn't be here. You're gonna get a lot of no's. There's a lot of negativity where, you know, sometimes you may be the best singer, the best actor, the best looking, and yet your eye color isn't right. Or you're not the right height. And it sounds crazy, but it comes down to those details sometimes. And you have to know that you did your best job, you went in there, you had fun, and the rest is, is, is what's supposed to happen. You have to believe that everything happens for a reason. So guys, keep doing this, keep having fun, keep singing, acting, everything. And as long as you're enjoying it now, you're going to have fun for the rest of your life. You'll never work a day in your life. So how many people here watch Big Time Rush? I don't know, I even see a couple parents. I appreciate that. Well, keep it up. Are there any questions here? I see a hand up. Do you have a question? Or you just, do you have a favorite episode? How about that? Big time concert? Yeah, that's a fun one. Anybody else? How about you? I live, good question. I live in Los Angeles. That's where we filmed the TV show. Uh, it's on Paramount Studios. If you ever see that when it comes up over movies, that's where we film the show. So yeah, anybody else? Why does Carlos always wear a helmet? Well, he's a very active character. His character likes to go out and be wild, and uh, you know, you ride a, a bicycle or a skateboard and you fall, it's always good to have a helmet on. So he takes that idea a little far, but he likes to wear it. I have heard of the monkeys, and actually, anybody else uh, that, that's heard of the monkeys? Our show was uh, loosely based on that. The creator Scott Fellows, you know, watched the monkeys growing up, and some of our episodes we've even kind of given homage and repeated scenes that they did because it's it's very similar. It's kind of like a new age monkeys. Yes. That's a good question. <sighs> I filmed 
50 episodes at this point, and probably Big Time Beach Party. Have you seen that one? You know, I got, we film on a soundstage, it's a lot of fun, but sometimes you're indoors all day and uh, you don't see the, the daylight. You get there early in the morning before the sun's up and you leave after the sun's down. So for Big Time Beach Party, I got to spend two weeks on the beach in Malibu. Really not bad. <laughs> Alright, anybody else? Right here. Favorite song that I ever recorded? That's a tough question. You guys are asking good questions. I've done a lot of songs. Um, I'm gonna go with Worldwide. Yeah, Worldwide is one of my favorite songs. It was an amazing session. It was where uh, the entire band really enjoyed it. You know, sometimes you don't get the part you want. When you're in a group, you have to make sacrifices. But for that song, I know that everybody was completely happy and we had fun doing it. And I think that really shows in the song that we had fun in the studio and in the booth. And I think that's why people enjoy that one. All right, last one right here. New episodes. Uh, we still have quite a few episodes coming up. The, the next one? The next episode. I'm like, what is the next episode? Uh, you know, we've got a bunch of shows coming up. Uh, I'll give you a clue. We just had the one where Kendall and Joe broke up and I had a relationship in three days, right? That one was fun. Well, we've got, a, we've got another one coming up with a song called If I Ruled the World. It's a new song that I really, really enjoy, so keep a lookout for that. We do a whole performance on a beach, which was fun. And you asked uh, what singers influenced me. Well, um, really, as uh, for listening, my dad grew up listening to some older music as well as Billy, and some of my favorite artists to this day are still uh, you know, Stevie Wonder, Brian McKnight is kind of a newer version of Donny Hathaway. Um, some of these people are really, really big influences on me. And more currently, I like John Mayer, and he's one of the best guitarists of all time. And uh, Jack Johnson, one of my favorite artists. Well guys, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Thank you for having me. I'm going to stick around and listen to a couple more singers. You guys are amazing. Keep it up. Give it up for James Maslow. Come on, guys.